guys welcome back to my channel this is shades of maddy today we'll be designing this party flyer but first i want to wish you all a happy new year so let me show you my in my youtube page you can see i'm currently on 1000 and uh, 1130 subscribers i want to thank you all for watching my videos in the past year and this year I promise to drop at least 10 videos each month with, with their free PSD so please do well to subscribe to my channel you can see my videos different files different free PSDs for you to use for your for your clients you know it's it's all free it's all free you can use it for your clients to get you know your gigs and everything so let's start let me go to the point so this flyer is just from my imagination you know I create things based on what I feel you know can be okay and also you can actually go from here and create your own style of design it's very very easy so let me start so for my page size I used 1080 by 1350 always you can see it's my, it's my first um, suggestion so what I did in there was to first bring in my background let me control C and control V you can see this is just a normal background but mind you this is a very bad this, this is a normal background before i applied gaussian blur effect to this background so i applied gaussian blur effect to it to give it this and if you want to apply gaussian blur, gaussian blur effect for your future videos you can come to your filter the blur and your gaussian blur it's very easy so what i did next was to bring in this image let me change the blend mode to normal Just see, control V to normal. So let me change it to vivid light. By the way, you can actually work on this any way you want. You can decide not not to even use this. It depends on your, on your on your preference. So you can work on this. You can add any any kind of um, background you want to add. So let me use this also. Control Z. Control Z. So. This is also my my background also. Control C. Let me paste it here. Control V. You, know, you can have different things. So I change the blend mode to, to color dodge. You can have different different um, suggestions. It's very very easy and straightforward. Now, as you can see, I now added my last background. Control C. Control V. Here to give it that kind of dark feel. I change if change the limit my can see it's not this way. I'll change it to multiply to give it that that unique feel. And also, okay, let me skip this for now. Let me come to this. You can you can see the color code here. Color code is 5A4335. Now what I did here was to create a new layer, then solid color. That's all you can see. Very simple straightforward. I change the blend mode to EO. Let me change normal color. You can see this is normal. You can, you can even leave it at normal. So normal is, is also very nice and okay. I change it to EO. You can try to, to, to play around it, you know, to give it that, that your preferred feel. So it's currently on EO. It's currently on EO. So what I did now next was to, as you would have seen in all my videos, I play around my text a lot. I play on my designs a lot just to get my preferred choice. Now you can see this image here. If I decide to, to delete this, you can see. Okay, let me bring this image down here. Control V. You can see this is the image right here. But what I did here was to create this. I added this this mask here, this layer mask here. My foreground color set to black. I use this gradient to to gently brush this side, something like this, to give it that feel. And also, if you can see that this image look sharpened, what I did was to use camera roll to sharpen my images. So you can sharpen it with this with this style too. It's very simple and straightforward. I use contrast as twenty seven, texture at forty one, clarity as twenty eight. 
then for the details I used sharply zero you know zero 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 so just to add a little bit life to it that's how I got this particular flyer it's very simple and straightforward then for the rest you can see that I actually added so many layers here this layer you can see this is, this is a very bright layer now to get this particular effect what you can do is create this new layer like this on your, on your keyboard press B or change your foreground color to something like okay, let me then pick this color like orange or yellow something like this then you check your brush size here 600 you can just click tap once like this you can see then change the blend mode to linear dodge add like something like this V then place this image something like this so it's very straightforward you just add light to the background you can try to change the color also if you want you can leave the color you can change blend mode to anything you want to change it to you can leave it like this uh, at vivid light near light anyone you want to use is your preference is your choice and it's your design so that was how i decided to play around all the lights that i'm using right you can see this light here you can see this image and everything so i duplicated this particular images you know this particular one i duplicated it i added white color to it white color you know just to add just to make it kind of colorful now for this text image you can see i used the text effects that i got online on free pics you can change you can use this image also you can change the color if you want to change the color you can change apply the, the changes here you can see the, this extrude here you can change the color of this extrude change the color of anything you want to change here it's very simple and straightforward for the third layer very simple and straightforward so please you can check this design i'm dropping the, the psd file with no password so you can download this and you know watch and use for your files thank you very much please subscribe to my channel and watch my other videos